hello you guys welcome back to my channel i got a great and exciting video for you guys today starting off with my two favorite products of all time guy tang my identity and olaplex the best i swear buy these products guy tang my identity is actually one of my favorite go-to lighteners and what i like to do is create a hybrid lightener that i learned from one of guy tang's videos actually mixing his big nine cream lightener with magnum eight and for the back section here what i'm going to start with is just 20 volume and we're gonna be doing a full head of baby lights today. And as you can see her before here, she's about a natural level six with um, some previous blonde. And it is very dull, as you can see, there's, you know, brassy tones in there. That's what happens, I guess, when you're blonde. If you don't keep up with toners, your hair will eventually just lose the color, the toner fades, nothing's permanent in this world. Um, purple shampoo can only do so much as well. So just keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, my foiling pattern for somebody with extremely, extremely straight hair, like my model Aliyah here. Um, sometimes I like to go in with diagonal back sections, but I felt like with uh, her very straight hair, it was just easier to bricklay um, this first little quadrant here. So what I essentially do is work up the nape of the neck until the head becomes a little bit wider. Then I'll just work about two to three foils on each side until I get to more uh, of the middle section, which I'll show you guys here in a sec. All right, I also wanted to just quickly mention that I am not overlapping her existing blonde because it took me about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours to do a full head of baby lights. Um, I like to keep the integrity of the hair in mind so I don't overlap. I'll show you guys what I end up doing just to brighten that um, existing blonde already. You can do that if you feel comfortable doing it, but because I know that I was filming today and that I wasn't really, you know, taking the time that I normally would. I was, t it took me about two hours, you know, moving the camera around. I don't have an assistant or anything. I do this all on my own. Um, so I wanted to make sure to keep the uh, health of her hair first. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm just using 20 volume, even though there's Olaplex in there, you don't want the bleach sitting on there that long on an already, you know, existing level eight or nine hair. Keep the health of the hair first. That's key. That's what's going to set you apart from other hairstylists. I also wanted to just quickly mention what the difference between baby lights and highlights are. So the only thing that baby lights mean, it's just a fancy new word that we use, you know, in the industry. And all it means is finer highlights. So traditional highlights, like you, you see in this foil here, there's a little bit more of um, like a gap between the highlights. So they kind of stand out a little bit more. Baby lights are a lot closer together. They almost, almost appear like slices. Uh, but the main thing that you want to focus on is um, finer sections within the foil. I also wanted to mention uh, what the maintenance would be for a full head of baby lights. So after your initial full service, you will um, book your second appointment six to eight weeks after. And the reason for that is toners only last about 20 washes. And if you're someone like me, you should only wash your hair once a week. Um, I know it's like really, really hard for people to do that. But if you do three times a week max, you will get away with about six weeks. And um, as well as aftercare. Aftercare is super important. 
um, pur purchasing a professional purple shampoo or anything that has violet to blue tones what that does is it helps combat any brassy aka yellow or orange tones if you look at the color wheel purple and blue are across from yellow and orange so that's why we recommend purple shampoo All right, so moving on to the money piece here, what I like to initially do with my front sections is I like to section away my money piece so I can work on that first. And I usually normally always go in with the baby light first. Uh, the money piece, at least in my opinion, um, if you want something bold, you'll definitely wanna opt for slicing and leaving just very minimal subsections out because this is the part that the client is gonna see every day. You know, we don't, they don't walk around seeing the back of their hair. Obviously that's, you know, the photos that we take is the back, but. Focusing more detail work in the front is key, you guys. And as well, doing baby lights right around the hairline, it's just gonna have a more seamless grow out. You know, slicing is almost like doing a platinum card. You're gonna have more of that harsh line. So I would just, in my recommendation and what I've learned along the way of money piecing is do your first foil a baby light. Trust me, try it. It's worked for me, it's worked for my guests and you can still get that bold money piece even if you just have that baby light sitting there in the first place you know so i'm going to show you guys here i'm going to uh, end up doing this one a slice and then as i move um, closer to the side sections i will switch back into baby lights just to help that hair transition so the money piece will transition softer into the rest of the highlights so i'll let you guys just kind of watch along and i'll um, catch you up as we go And real quick, I wanted to mention that I'm only using 15 volume in the front for the money piece. Um, this just kind of goes back to hair school. The front of the hair, the top of our head sees sunlight, the bottom doesn't. So we want to make sure that we're not putting 20, 25, 30, or even 40 volume in the front. Definitely don't do that. The hair that's exposed to the sun will lighten a lot faster because it's technically already lighter than the rest of the hair, even though it might not appear like it. With somebody that's a level six or a seven, they naturally have those sun-kissed highlights in the front. So I would opt for 15 volume if your your guest is at about a level seven, like my, mine is six or seven, um, because you still have to foil the side sections and you don't want to blast that hair open with 30 volume. Trust me, I've done that before. I've seen some stuff melt off. You know, we all have to learn from our mistakes. So I figured I would just share mine with you. All right, so I wanted to note that um, every guest has a different hairline and you definitely wanna work based on that and do what makes your job easier, not harder. Sometimes um, if their head is a little bit more flat, you can combine the um, their part and make it one, like kind of like straight across, if you know what I'm saying. But here, this is exactly where she parts her hair. So I figured because she has a little bit more of a round forehead, 
I just worked exactly on the part. I didn't combine anything or stretch any hair out or anything like that because it was just easier to do it this way. And even though I'm gonna end up using more foils in the hair, it's, I know that I'm not stretching the hair and making my job harder. You know, work smarter, not harder. All right, so after I was done foiling the front of the hair, I ended up rinsing her and I have her sitting here in an Olaplex number two treatment. And what I did was mixed a fresh batch of uh, Magnum 8 with 20 volume. And because she has Olaplex number two sitting on her hair and it's wet, I figured we could just go in with some wet balayage just to kind of kick open that cuticle because she was really brassy and she's only about a level eight and a half, nine-ish on her ends and we didn't overlap. So I figured, I have to brighten it somehow. And because I was filming and the day was a little bit long, I was like, I'm just gonna do it wet. And you could totally do a bleach wash. I just wanted to show you guys here a different technique, you know, um, and maybe this is something you haven't tried, but if you haven't, I actually really liked the results. I ended up getting her nice and bright and her hair was really protected because there was already all Plex number two on there, which was great. And this is the first time I ever done this before, but since I filmed this video in December, I've actually done it on um, some of my regular clientele, which is great. Um, you can always tease the dropouts like while you're foiling if that's something you, that you wanted to do I do have a, a video coming on that as well. That's why I didn't want to do it for this uh, model I wanted to show you guys different techniques and maybe something new per video So let me know if you learned anything today And that's really my ultimate goal and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video so far And again, just give me some feedback you guys I would love to know you know if if this channel is even helpful for you. Uh, I figured I wanted to get into education, so I know that I might talk a little bit awkward and say um a lot. It's still really awkward to do the voiceover, so I'm trying, you know. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Look at that beautiful color so silvery so bright but still so dimensional it's amazing like how much dimension you can still leave in the hair even with baby lights but like what a difference and so excited for this outcome thank you so much again Aaliyah for being a model helping me out with this video today I really hope that you're still enjoying your hair and I'm really happy with the results you guys I will have the toner and everything listed in the bottom bar so make sure you guys check that out if you want the formula but I can't. I'm so excited and I'm so happy with the results. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Drop them down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon. I have a ton of videos coming you guys' way. Let me know if you learned something. Anything that you might have learned today. I really hope that you guys did. And I can't wait. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.